My name is Dr. Brent Bean. I'm with Texas AgriLife uh, Research and Extension here in Amarillo, Texas. What we're doing, we're comparing different varieties and seeding rates of sweet sorghum, ultimately to see how much ethanol will be produced on a per acre basis. So the first step that we do, our plots are 30 feet long uh, of each variety. And so this is one of our varieties. We've got a pole here that's 10 foot long. We put that out into the field to mark off our 10 foot, and then we're going to harvest 10 foot of that row. What we're doing here, we're tying it together so we can take it out of the field and then we'll weigh it. Cut the heads off so that it, it'll run through our mill better without making a mess. Okay, so, so now we're running our, our six plants that we collected from our, our sample that we, we, we took from the field through our sorghum mill. You'll see ju green juice running out of the bottom of the mill. We have, we have what's called a, a, a refractometer that measures bricks, which is a, a, a scale for measuring sugar, and we'll measure the sugar content of that green juice. Okay, the material coming out of the back of the mill is the residue that is left over after the, the, the stalks have been pressed uh, with the juice removed. This material is called bagasse. It can either go back onto the field as, as crop residue, or it could possibly be used as a cattle feed or some kind of animal feed. Next step is, is we pour the juice into this, this little meter that will measure sugar content. So that's what, uh, that's what we're doing right now. 17.4? So we had a bricks reading of 17.4. Well, earlier our first step, we harvested 10 foot of, uh, of row, of Ford sorghum from a row, or sweet sorghum from a row. Uh, we, didn't, we weighed that, but we don't know what the percent moisture of that sample was. So one of our steps is we'll, we'll take a, a sample of that material again that we harvested from the field, we'll run it through this limb chopper, mix it up a little bit, we'll weigh that sample to get a fresh weight, we'll then take that sample in, dry it down, so we, so we can determine what our dry weight is. doing that we can calculate how much either dry matter or fresh matter we had on a per acre basis and, and by knowing that and also knowing our sugar content from our juice we can calculate ethanol on a per acre basis. <laughs> 